Yeah, my dudes, what's going on? David here, and welcome to another reaction. This episode, we are diving into Teen Wolf Season 2, Episode 3, called Ice Pick. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. Hopefully, you are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, last episode was really interesting because of the fact that uh, we had some mysterious ass, supernatural ass... <laughs> figure i don't even know what to to describe that creature uh but basically we're not dealing with werewolves only we're dealing with other shit now so it's really interesting it's really cool at first i thought it was lydia but that doesn't make any sense so we're gonna dive into this episode hopefully enjoy it buckle your seatbelts. let's ride see this is what i'm saying there you go allison act right you didn't close your fuel What? Just close it. Just close the fuel tank. Bite. One bite. No way. And everything changes. They did that to scare her? Oh my god, what is this guy? This reptile. Oh my god, look at Styles down there. Erica! Dizzy? Is it vertigo? Vertigo is a dysfunction of the vestibular system of the inner ear. She's just freaking out. Shake it off. You're fine. Why is that funny, though? How is that funny? I swear, man. Sometimes I hate some people, man. Oh my god, if she would have fell. If she would have fell, that would have been crazy. I just felt it. Got even better. Is this not coming off weird for anyone else? Why do they target so young? Is that a thing? They always go after like high school kids. Hello? Erica. Oh no, that's not Erica. <laughs> Isaac. This is the girl's room. Right, those are some manly ass feet. <laughs> You're in the wrong room, dog. I remember 20. I don't know. I have a really good verbal memory. And I remember 20. I remember that distinctive twa sound. Twa empty. I said <laughs> fuss sound. Made a difference? If you can, I could demonstrate some other words with the fuss sound. Uh oh, it's Crybaby Jackson. <laughs> Ah, Jackson is in his feelings every day. Derek, man, you feasting on everyone, man. Where are you at, Styles? Allison, of course. That's right. No way, Jose, is any girl okay with another girl doing that. Great! She didn't see you defend. I'm sure he was pretty devastated after the whole breakup. He has been a little odd lately. Man, she is looking right in her eye. Like, He's kind give of me some space. Odd, but, uh, he doesn't seem all that heartbroken. Yeah. Maybe it just hides it well. Nope. Teenage because they're quite good at hiding things, aren't they? They're still seeing each other. Oh my god, here he is. I want to be you guys. <laughs> I want to be like I you. Know you can hear me. You owe me an explanation. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what are you doing here, Styles? Uh, no, I was just looking for, um, Boyd. You're having car trouble. What the hell, man? Oh, no, no, no. All right, Erica, you're on the shit list. Just like that, you're on the shit list. Really? We're about to fight right here? All 
All right, boy, you about to see firsthand if you want to be a part of this or not. Oh my God. This is actually extremely weird without music. Okay, I'll save the music for this. Choke slam. He's out for the count. So he's still clearly not anywhere close to Derek as far as strength goes. <laughs> Just what this kid needed. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Season two, episode number three. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Man, I love the quality of the show a lot, actually. I think it really uh, upped itself quite a bit. Not that to me season one was terrible, but season two quality wise, really good. Uh, and yet again, another really, really good episode. I might be going really high with this, but I'm thinking eight, nine range for me. It's first and foremost, it's really fun. There's never a dull moment in the show for me. I don't know if it's because I like the whole high school drama stuff and you know sometimes it can get cheesy and lovey-dovey but like i vibe with it i like the high school stuff it's cool so you add that plus the supernatural stuff and the uh cool you know fight scenes and you have yourself a really good episode again for me we introduce two new characters boyd and erica who are now joining the pack with isaac and obviously the alpha derek that's a pretty strong team so it seems to me that uh, Scott is stronger than, I'm assuming those are betas too, right? The other three, Isaac, uh, Boyd, and Erica are gonna be betas. He's stronger than them. And I don't know as a werewolf if you get stronger uh, the longer you're that, or it, like how, I don't know how it works, but I'm assuming, you know, the more experienced, the better you are. Uh, but basically, at this point where we stand right now, Scott can't challenge Derek. He has no chance. He has no, uh, like strength wise, it's not even close. It almost looked too easy for Derek at the end, fighting there wise. Um, really weird, cause I like, I like the fighting scenes, but for some reason, it was really strange, especially from someone who, coming from someone who uh, doesn't like the music as often as it's there. We kind of need a music during that fight, like the fight scene. It was really weird, like extremely quiet. I don't know, the fighting scene, I feel like could have been done better uh, between Isaac, Erica, and Scott, obviously. I liked when the music turned on for uh, Derek and Scott, but it just, it seemed really empty, quiet. No, is it just me? And, and again, I'm somebody that complains about the music all the time, but that would have been the moment too. They started playing music when he was talking to them. I would have rather it be reversed where fighting there was music and then after you know, they were on the ground, he was saying stuff to them, the music cut out and then the music picked back up whenever uh, Derek challenges him. You know what I mean? So it was just weird. It was a weird uh, way to go, uh, directing-wise, editing-wise. Uh, but otherwise, again, another really solid episode. It's been quite some time since there hasn't been a really solid episode for me. Uh, I'm really digging the whole Lydia, kind of like seeing Peter having these weird visions. I'm totally for it. She's seeing these things, but they're not really there, which like to me that adds to it. It makes it you know that much more like creepy, especially if you're someone like Styles who's just kind of like skating with her and then all of a sudden she starts screaming. That would creep me out. But I like that stuff. Uh, I'm cool with Derek. Like I said, going after you know his guard dogs. Really uncomfortable scene for me, where clearly Derek's out of high school. He's clearly out of high school. And the way he was like going about 
like talking the good stuff to Erica. It just felt really weird. Like really, I don't want to go as far as saying pedophile like, but kind of like I got those vibes where he was like rubbing the inside of her thighs and like telling her like, obviously he's trying to woo her into uh, letting him bite her, but man, was it uncomfortable? It was super uncomfortable. And I'm like, oh my God. And I know, you know, it's just a show. It's not legit. It just felt real. And I was like, whoa, this is going too far. Too freaking far. But, um, no, I'm really, I'm really cool with it. I like, I like adding characters, obviously, because you get more personalities. You get more uh, characters to work with. Uh, trying to just think off the top of my head here. The Jackson stuff. Really interesting. Every time I see him, all I could see is him like crying, saying he wants to be them so bad. Uh, then at the end, he like legit picked up his pickup truck. So what does that mean? <clears throat> Excuse me. What does that mean though? Like, does that mean he's got the like the bite is slowly working its way back in? <clears throat> That's very unhuman like. For someone to pick up a pickup truck. So where did that strength come from? <clears throat> Sorry. All right. And then a uh, really odd way to go about training Allison. That first scene where uh, her dad basically has her get kidnapped. Just to kind of show her that if you get bit one time, what could happen? It's just a real interesting tactic. I like that she was pissed about it. Like, are these, is this, is this the way we're going to have our uh, father daughter conversations? I'm cool with that. I like that a lot. I'm glad that she's upset. I keep forgetting that Allison and Scott are not supposed to be together. But this whole time they've been seeing each other, they're still together. So it's, it's, it's cool. It's very Romeo and Juliet to me. Where obviously it's two parties that should not be together, but wanting to be together, so they're doing it behind closed doors. They're doing it very like discreet. No one knows about it. But obviously, I'm thinking that's Allison's grandmother. I could be wrong. Maybe that's Al Maybe that's Mr. Arjun's wife. Who knows? Or maybe there isn't even a relationship going on. Anyways, it's one of Allison's elders. I'm sure you guys, like I said, you guys are really good at letting me know. I'm sure you'll let me know who it is. But anyways, she put two and two together. She found the note and she's like, no, nope. I'm going to. I mean, she went to a crazy length just to prove or figure out. Like she cut her arm just to go talk to Scott's mom. Just to see if he's been sort of down, heartbroken, depressed. And she said, for the most part, he's good. So she put two and two together and she's like, all right, that's clearly that note was from Scott. They're still seeing each other, even though uh, we told her she can't see him anymore. Big issues, big, big issues. I hate, I hate watching a show and forgetting names. It's one of the things that bothers me the most. And it's not, and I promise you, I promise you, it's not because I'm watching a lot of shows because I know, you know, that tends to interfere with things. But there's just certain names that you don't see them as often in the episodes that when they come back, you obviously know the role they play and who they are. But then it's like name wise, you're just like blank. So basically uh, the vet, I'm going to call him the vet because obviously I forgot his name. Uh, he's finally going to have a conversation with Scott. So I'm really cool, but I'm cool with this. I want to hear anytime that somebody's going to have a conversation that's going to give me some more information on something. I'm 100% down with it because of the fact that like I'm so I'm coming into this so raw so like not knowing anything about supernatural things this is the first supernatural show I'm watching so just going in which is I mean supernatural show I guess you can count Twilight as a supernatural movie but you know what I'm saying like I don't I don't have a lot of uh, knowledge especially when it comes to werewolves so it's just it's really like I get really excited with stuff like that because it's like, yes, we're going to have this conversation. I want to listen into it. I want to learn as much as I can about 
the uh, just the whole situation that's going on. Where was Mr. Argent when uh, Scott showed up? I'm assuming he dropped the body off, asked the vet, and then left? Or is he still hiding? And you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So many questions. There always, there's always so many questions. But basically, overall, I'm enjoying the Lydia stuff. Obviously, Styles is great. I want them to be together, but you can't get everything you wish for. It's kind of working, kind of not. She's still kind of not focused on Styles like I want her to be. Uh, Scott, Allison, I'm cool with them in this episode. Adding uh, two new characters in Boyd and Erica, really cool. Again, Isaac's really cool as well. Obviously, you know how I feel about Derek. He's really cool. No Gerard in this episode, which was really weird. They mentioned him, but no, no appearance from him. So that's a little strange. And then obviously the Jackson thing as well. There's not one storyline that's going on right at this moment that I'm like, ah, oh, I can give two shits about. Because everyone's storyline that's going on is really cool. Where Scott is still against joining this pack. Derek's just like, I, I need the power. I need, you know, I need people on my side. Everyone seems to always target Scott. Because Scott's the one that, like, doesn't want to give in and join. But then they realize that, like, Scott's a big help, I guess. He's powerful. But anyways, I enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, again, I gave it a like a high 8, 9 range. I enjoy it. There hasn't been a bad episode in so long when it comes to this show. I'm loving it. This isn't even your guys' favorite season, but I'm loving it. I can't wait to watch your favorite season because if I'm already loving it now... It's going to be like, what is it, 12 episodes a season? It's going to be 12 tens in a row. Because I'm already giving these, these episodes nines. I gave episodes in season one, eights and nines. I gave one a ten too. So, I mean, I'm ready. I'm pumped. But don't forget, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Bees, guys.